Welcome back to another episode of Cal's Clips. Today we are exposing my old photos. Now, I picked out a few, the ones that I'm actually allowed to show on YouTube. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Now, this one is actually pretty recent. This was taken at Morpheus's funeral. Shout out to everyone for supporting that video, by the way. It absolutely banged. Now, as you guys can see, this particular photo just sums up the entire video for me. We've got Simon consoling JJ there, right? And we've just got all the boys in the bottom left here. We got Arthur, Chip, and Chris just creasing when they know they shouldn't be laughing. It's like when you're in school and you you know you can't laugh, but you can't help it. That's how those boys felt. And that, that moment right there was taken when Cal dropped the hamster onto the floor. This is just one of my favorite pictures, so I've chucked it in there. Another recent one with a video that hasn't come out yet, but it is coming out relatively soon. Chip sat in a hotel in an undisclosed location because I don't want to spoil the video, wearing a dress that I bought for him. He's also violently hung over as well. Um, and you can see in the bottom left there, he's got his coconut water and there is a half eaten pizza from the night before. This photo, I feel that like will just make complete sense when you watch the video. This next here was actually a photo that one of the boys took when they were in a bathroom stall and you can see their foot there. Apologies if ever anyone was eating. That is foul. That is actually disgusting. You know, there are rumors that say that that is Theo Baker's foot. Now, I cannot confirm or deny that, but yes, uh, that, that photo there is a day ruiner. Next up, we've got this photo here was on our trip when we went to Hawaii. Me, Will, Theo, Gib, and Harry. And it was one of my favorite trips of all time. And you're wondering why is Harry dressed the way he is? Well, it was actually on Halloween night and I believe he lost a bet. And so he had to go on the night out in these massive flippers. Some hilarious stuff. There's even videos of him walking through the town in this outfit. Yeah, I mean, Theo looks great, I think, in the background. Next up, my God, Lynx. I used to work with them. I did a lot of shoots with them. And in this particular one, I was on a shoot with H, Chunks, and AJ, Anthony Joshua. They made me do a rap. Now, music is the thing that I am least talented in. These guys were getting so frustrated, I kept missing the beat. So like, it would be my turn to go, and there was like, on the beat I was supposed to come in and wrap my bars and I missed it like five or six times. Shout out to all three of them though because they were good sports and they did actually make me feel a bit better about myself. And look at my drip. Look at what H is wearing. H there is wearing like some Gucci or Burberry fit. You know, Chuck's wearing a nice little outfit. Me, they've stuck me in just the worst drip ever. And they would do it to me all the time. I swear I have more photos of this. Another link shoot. This time, look, they've dressed me up like Karen. This is what the brief said when they told me what the shoot was. They said, we want to make you look like Beckham when he had the curtains. This is what I look like. Are you taking the piss? I look like a Karen. At what point did they look at me after hair and makeup and go, fucking hell, it's David Beckham. David Beckham at this time was a sex icon. What of this looks like a sex icon? Speaking of sex icons, it's all the boys in a hot tub. Very, very normal, right? But my favorite thing about this photo is just look at Vic having absolutely none of it in the background. It didn't help that this was probably like the day after Valentine's Day, but yeah, look, all the boys are having a good time. Chippo needed a trim desperately. All the boys are just in the background, but just Vic having absolutely none of it is what makes this feel good. And also the fact that you can see his drink is still about three quarters of the way full. So maybe if he got to the bottom of that, he would have been in a hot tub. We'll never know. Okay, now this photo here of Simon and this lovely lady was very recent and it was hilarious because we went for a dinner, me, Randolph and Simon, and we sat down and this lady from another table came over and was there just like, my children are a massive fan of yours. Do you mind if I take a seat? And she just proceeded to flirt with Simon for about 15 minutes. I mean, look, shoot your shot and all. It was very impressive. And you can just see sort of like Simon's awkward face here. And uh, he ends up getting so excited about the fact that she's flirting with him. He ends up knocking his cock there you can see on the right all over his own lap and it just made the whole thing even more awkward and hilarious but shout out to that mum by the way because she was uh she was actually really funny all right this photo here is of the time that i was a news anchor now not actually a news anchor but i was on set with gymshark for one of their like big sales they were doing i think it was a black friday sale i had to be a news anchor and i must say i look fucking class as a news anchor let me know what you guys think but i just think i look sharp man i am i'm happy with this 
this fit. I like it. I think a good look. Let me know what you guys think. But yeah, this was this shoot was during COVID time. So you can see they had the full face mask as if it was uh, the world was ending. But that's a conversation for another day. Wow. What a photo. I don't know why this is in here, but I just think that Ethan looks fantastic as a pimp. And his outfit also matches the wall on the left and the couch on the right and the flowers in the back. It all just seemed to work out very nicely. I just remember this being a very filthy house party and admiring Ethan's effort. I mean, look at his face, man. He's got all like the makeup going on. I think it was Halloween time. But yeah, immaculate stuff. Wow, baby cow. Okay, maybe not baby cow, but young Frizos. What a stud. I mean, my teeth were massive back then. Not much has changed, but I must admit that is a handsome fellow. No doubt if he saw what he was going to look like in the future, he would be fuming because I think the trim looks great. Look at the outfit. I'm wearing a three-quarter zip. I think that's what we could. Oh, no, 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 it's not three quarter zip. That would be really weird. Could you imagine? A zip that only goes to down here. This is a quarter zip. Drip was immaculate, skin was glowing, got a nice tan on me, smiling, stud behavior. Okay, this next one is Harry and his massive bear. I remember he came home from a sideman shoot one day with a bear that was literally like almost double the height of him. I mean, it's sitting down and it's taller than him. And I remember just going, where the hell are you gonna fit this? He just slapped it on his bed and was like, it'll, it'll fit somewhere. But I don't think we're appreciating the size of the bear. Harry is a, a big lad, like not, not in a disrespectful way, but he, you know, he, he's not a, he's, he's not chip, right? This bear is a unit, a serious unit. Again, Lynx campaign, violating me. In this one, they had me swinging around on a wrecking ball, trying to be like Miley Cyrus, because being me wasn't good enough. So they made me be Miley Cyrus, David Beckham, and then at one point, I think I was a hot dog stand man. So these lot just, just took me for a ride. Now this next photo, this one's kind of sad, I'm gonna be honest. Well, it's not sad because it was for a Calyx video, but this was the video where he literally made like a, a torture box in our living room. He put himself in there. Now, I'm not sure if Cal knows this, but he will do after watching this clip, is there's a part in this video where JJ chucks like a liquid over him. That liquid was JJ's piss. Now, I don't know if that even made the cut of the video, but it was mental. It was, it, it, we had like a cow prod in there that would like electrocute him. I don't know if this is a fetish that Cal recently found out that he had and he just wanted to test it in a lighthearted way and sort of break to the boys, hey, I'm into extreme degradation and humiliation. But mate, if that is your kink, Lux, more power to you. We don't kink shame on this channel. My boy, Chip, look at this is an, this is an outrageous bit, look at him. Look at him, we are in Miami for Gibbs fight. Nah, do you know what? We'll talk about the, the fit in a second, but that stash is something else. Brewski, what is this? I love the top, the chain, uh, the pants I'm not sure about. I, it, he is in his goth era. I know this is gonna be on the fellas podcast subreddit when this gets uploaded. Boy, Chip, you have got some explaining to do. And of course, after a bit of chip slander, we got to have a bit of Theo Baker slander. I'm pretty sure this is him either hungover on an... I just found it in my camera roll. I don't really know where this came from, but my God, it is a look. This here, I'm assuming this is some sort of Christmas night out. No idea why I'm in an entire green more suit, but Ethan was going through his gym era. You know, that era where every day we would get a new photo of him flexing in the mirror. I think it's good that those days are behind him, but I was certainly not in my gym era. Look at them twig arms. That's not great. I mean, that's pretty terrifying, actually. Imagine just me looking like that in, a, in an alleyway. Anyways, whatever. This next photo, immaculate drip. I linked up with the Nelt boys. I mean, I say I linked up. I asked them for a photo, you know, at a bar, right? So me and the, we, we linked up. It was uh, Steve Will Do It and Kyle. Yeah, it was just really cool. I had that time. I watched a lot of their videos and those guys are sick. Like what they're doing with the full send brand, really cool. So I had to ask them for a photo. This is also the time where I had that buzz cut. So yeah, another picture right here of me just, I just need you guys to appreciate the outfit. I mean, look, kilts should just be worn more often. I can't wait till I can bust that out again at whatever event. Uh, Bazinga's made a few features in here and this one is him deep throating a beer bottle. I'll spare him and move on quickly. This is Will again. This was in Hawaii. I can't remember what it was, but he just ate something. And this photo just gives me good energies, good vibes. I don't know why. It just brings me back to Hawaii. Good time. Now this next photo, this was not good times. This was terrible times. You can actually see here the bed bug at my hotel. I did a video on this place and there was a massive bed bug. It was disgusting, to be honest with you. It was foul. 
Harry, you did me so dirty here. I mean, this was a moment where my face was plastered across loads of bus stops with links. And I said, Harry, we're gonna go to a bus stop and we'll get a photo of me in front of me on the bus stop. And it's lit up and it was on like a cycle. So I was only on for like 10 seconds before the next one came on. And he took this picture and we got home and I said, bro, what happened to the lighting? You can't even tell that I'm there in the bottom left. I can't post this on Instagram, but it does have a good shot of me there. So yeah, pretty cool photo. The next up was just some style inspiration that I had. I couldn't believe they made Crocs for short people. I was thinking about actually getting this for Ethan at some point, but how cool does that look? Those with some nice wide flares. Yeah, those are gonna go off. Now this next one, this gave me just a bit, I was flicking through, I was like, oh, do you know what? We just need to show some appreciation to the old flat that we had. This is like two flats ago now where it was me, Harry and Cal that lived there. But this was just before we went out on a pub golf in London. It was so much fun, had an amazing time. Harry already looked absolutely peppered in that one. I just thought, you know what? What a good looking bunch of lads. What a, what a grand time that was. Harry makes another feature here and this actually, he has some jet skis in Guernsey and we jumped on them. We took them out and off the bat, Harry had another friend of ours on the back of it and he went a little too quick, flung him off. And then they have something called the Harbor Master who is like the guy that is in charge of the Harbor. He spotted it and when we came back in, he was waiting there for us and started barking off at us, screaming at Harry and this was taken moments after when he realized he was in the shit and there was a bunch of drama that followed. Yeah, it was, it was a mess to be honest. Last but not least guys, we have got this. This was recently put in a group chat and it was just hilarious because it was the time when Lux pretty much fractured his foot because he wore a croc during football. He was acting like, oh, I can wear whatever I want in football. I'm gonna go in goals. Like giving it the big chat. I mean, he never came with genuine like fo footwear and we would always take the piss out of it. And so this time we decided to take it a step further and wear crocs and he paid the price because then there's a clip of him literally hobbling off. And I think it was for a Sidemen video. It was just a disaster for him all around. Anyways, look, that is me exposing some of the unseen pictures. I mean, none of those had been out before or have been seen before, at least I don't think. But uh, I thought I'd give you a bit of a backstory to those. As always, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you hit subscribe, leave a comment on what you guys thought, which was your favorite photo. I'll see you guys on the next video. Layers.